Mel Rath and Honda. Thank you for giving me that job. Yeah, funny story. Put out some applications, get a job at Chevy's, get a call from Mel Rath and, yeah, come on up, you know what? Got this job, 800 bucks a month, learn how to sell cars. So I did, and we're living in this fucking house with knob and tube wiring. Yeah, the landlord has given us a fucking bag full of fuses because they blow out all the time. And a fuse blows out, and I miss an inconsequential fucking meeting. You know what? Who gives a fuck? They fire me. <laughs> Is that sales manager, that lecherous, leech, bitch, backstabbing cunt, fuck, I mean, punk, you know what? I'd say all that shit to their face, and I did. Uh, I said, you know what? I said, see those guys down there? And they're all the vultures on the line. I said, you can get away with that shit with them. Okay, with me? I said, I'm not gonna do anything here. Never, never anything illegal, okay? And then, you're gonna be getting out of your car. You're gonna be with the date, maybe, by yourself, who knows, okay? It doesn't really matter about witnesses, okay? Um, and somebody's gonna fucking take your knees out. Straight up. It probably won't even be me. It might be one of my homeboys just doing me a favor because I've shown him love. But straight the fuck up, dog. You fucked up. I'm not the one. And guess what? Before I left Mel Rapid, okay, I got the check that I was owed. I got another check. Same amount. Double. And fucking, um, they paid for my car sales license. Straight up. What's up, niggas? I'll never buy a car from Mel Rapid. Anyhow, um, and, you know, it's not like I told them what to give me. You know, I just said what might happen. Yeah. Anyhow, Tupac. They don't even know, son, do they? I could cover Tim Brown man for man, motherfuckers. Straight up. If Timmy is gone for a touchdown and I'm on the other side of the field, and I take off, right? And I'm catching on. And you know what? Yeah. So I can catch Tim Brown from behind? What? Um, I can walk into any fucking NFL camp? What? And say, come on, niggas. You know, out of respect, that might piss some guys off because they've had folks lynched. Out in California, white boys are saying it all the time when no one black is around. Okay? On Del Paso Boulevard, I went up to get some change. And the store should have been open, but it was locked. And so I started, you know, like tapping on the window. And this fucking dude comes to the door with a weapon. And I said, bring it on out, nigga. Let's go. You know what? And everybody fucking freaked out because they're all black. And uh, <laughs> that was funny. But see, when do I tell him that Deion Sanders would have feared me on the fucking field, homeboy? Straight up, Deion. Because you catch Tim Brown from behind, or if Tim Brown was a savage hitter, dog, okay? Straight up, imagine this combination. Niggas talking shit. Tim Brown speed, a fucking goddamn wrecking ball. I turned my back on that game, because even back when I hated drug dealers, I would have had coaches killed if I knew somebody that would do it. And you know what? The longer that I met cool motherfuckers all over the place, Oh my God, I was thinking, huh, what a tragedy. I can still walk on, I'm still fast. I can still do things that would make people go, oh, finally, finally a white boy is here that can do that shit, Jason Williams. What up, nigga? Straight up, homie. I, I could have caught Tim Brown from behind. I caught Alexander Hamilton from behind. I caught black guys from behind, straight up. They would have loved me as a cop. They'd have been like, finally, we're not getting smoked, dog. That's the only reason why we gave you a job, homie. You didn't tell us you was going to fucking let up when it was a brother and not a white boy. Ah. That'd be funny, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, yeah. The thing is that I fucking gave up. Straight the fuck up. But I met really, really, really cool people. Straight up. I mean, cool, cool, smart, smart motherfuckers, man. I mean... Brilliant, even like Swanee Fisher. What's up, Pelican Bay? Is the Swan Fisher still up there? Because uh, Swanee Fisher, oh, his black ass is getting paid straight up, my niggas. 
uh, he's gonna be a millionaire. You wanna know why? Because they put him in a cell with me, which caused quite a stir. It was on the pen side. I never been to the pen at that point. But you know what? I like exercising my constitutional rights to the police. You know what I'm saying? Uh, talking shit on me. I once had a Sacramento sheriff denigrate my Notre Dame jacket and say that he played for Colorado. No shit. And I was like, dude, at this point, no disrespect, Mike Kozlowski, but do you even really want to fucking brag about that shit, homeboy? And did you even step on the field, my nigga? You know, I didn't say that at that time. I would have. It was cool. Um, <laughs> and we got into an argument, and things went downhill from there. And, you know, they've tortured me. They put me in cells with black guys. And then in comes Deswan Fisher, okay? And... I'll tell you what, things got tense because if Swanee Fisher and I go off, the whole fucking cell block's going off, straight up. Oh yeah, Joe Rogan. Oh, they try to kill me in Sac County. And the Swan Fisher and I became friends. And Swanee Fisher proved to me that he's brilliant. Straight the fuck up. Or I mean, if he's not brilliant, then he's had some fucking smart motherfucking friends around him because they've done some clever, devious shit. And uh, oh yeah, he told me he had a fucking fish on a bowl and how to fucking vacate the water so I could talk in a bowl. And Jennifer Jones, uh, whatever women fucking prison in uh, California. Girl, consider yourself basically released. If one of these rich motherfuckers that is listening to me would actually motherfucking pay attention, okay? Get a little money, all right? Start doing things. And then what I'm gonna do, girl, I'm gonna get an attorney. Okay, and we're gonna overthrow your conviction. You gotta set the fuck up straight up. She got nabbed in this murder thing. Okay, these dudes beat this gay guy to death and stole his wallet, right? And then they left the scene and went where she was. She didn't know what the fuck. And they tossed her the wallet, like, what's up? You know, either that's a straight setup, okay, or you know, it, but her fingerprints straight up, she's fucking fine as fuck, straight the fuck up. And we talked in the bowl fucking damn near every goddamn night for like a couple like I mean maybe a month and shit and she fell in love with me and she's probably falling in love over and over you know what and it's like this when I get her out straight up we're gonna fucking rock the fucking uh, straight the fuck up okay I can walk in when I'm spun on Stevie and Weed Deion Sanders I feel like I'm spun a mess on, 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 on methamphetamine homeboy straight up um, usually when you hit the bomb, fucking hash, dog, you know, four hits, done. Guess what? With Stevie in your system, you keep hitting it, and I just keep getting more spun, 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 and, and it's like, God damn, this stuff is fucking off the motherfucking hook. Anyhow, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to put the, uh, there we go. Okay, windows down. I'm not leaving. I'm just running in to get a fucking uh, package. straight up and in Encinitas, California, people that are wondering that, you know, whatever happened to that kid that was like jet fucking fast and caught black guys in the field and shit and went to Notre Dame and shit and fucking, you know, made the play and shit and got fucking uh, fired. Oh, you know what? The conspiracy in Notre Dame is deeper than Penn State and there's rape involved in a different way. Put it like this, I was a star. I was headed to the NFL, everybody fucking knew it. I mean, put it like this, the only thing that keeps me from the NFL is if I don't walk onto a camp in the NFL or um, I don't play. And the only reason why I didn't play, still ice and shit. The only reason why I didn't play is because 
You know what this punk bitch right here? This punk bitch right here, Harry Long? He says he repped your team, dog. Villanova. And I said, really? I said, do you really even want to brag about that shit, homie? To me, that's like fucking girls lacrosse, nigga. You know what? I mean, put it like this, Howie. When I was spun on Stevie and Weed, back in that fiction, okay? Um, faster than I was at Notre Dame. And guess what? When I was at Notre Dame, I was like sideline to sideline, dog. Uh, I was a phenomenon, okay? I was like this white tornado that people hadn't ever seen really anything like it, dog. And they set me up, Howie. Straight up, man. They fucking slurred me, dude. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers. I I'm crying. Guaranteed. I was teased. So much in high school, man. That I had a small cock. Do you think I would ever fucking force myself on a woman? Oh my god. You know what? That I mean, it, it... Aside from that, even if I had a huge cock, that'd be the last thing that I'd ever do. But since, like, my friends and I had always talked about, like, dude, those guys should be killed and shit. And then to get set up for something that was so easily disproved. Straight up, Howie. Um, did someone get paid off to sell me the fuck out? It goes like this, man. Uh... Notre Dame knew that I was innocent. In fact, these girls said that the stereo was playing so loud that her cries for help couldn't be heard. And uh, in fact, the priest testimony said that it was silent because she's about to give me pussy. And this motherfucker right here, you know what, you punk ass bitch, it's not my fault that you would have got cut from my team, dog. Straight up, you're a genetic defect football wise. Okay, as a person, you're even worse. You're like Jerry Sandusky talking about my kids, you punk bitch motherfucker. I'll tell you what, they should have sterilized your mom and dad straight up. Okay, not just if it was football wise, but for the good of the fucking herd, you punk bitch motherfucker. Straight up, punk. You're you're. What else you got, Dad? What else you got? I'm gonna fuck your kid. Now what? You're gonna fuck my. You're gonna fuck my kid? Yeah, I live with it. You, you know what, dog? Put it like this, man. If I ever hear your voice, homie, I'm gonna confirm. And if it's you, okay? If you actually don't have a pussy between your legs and lips to go along with it, you actually have a penis, okay? I'd be surprised about that, nigga. But it's like this. Confirm it. I'm attacking you, homeboy. And and trust me, man. Um, when when people see me in action, when I'm mad and shit, they're like, "Holy fuck, dude! That guy is like a tornado and shit." You know? Well, you no, know, dog. It ain't like that. You don't know what you're messing with. I'm a fucking legend, nigga. Okay? People on the street are like, "Damn, I wonder why he doesn't do better in the fucking cage and shit." That's because it's hard to generate yeah, anger. You okay? You know what? I'm a fucking homie. I, I'm gonna snatch your life. And I'm going to take you so fucking painful, it's going to make people cringe when they see it. Because you know what I'll do? Straight up, dog. If you ever touch my kids, I will kill you so f Homie. Okay, check this out, nigger. Okay? Uh, and nigger ain't a black thing. Okay? Nigger's a person thing. Okay? Just because white folks in the South were too goddamn ignorant to say negro. Okay? And <laughs> they had the fucking inbred stutter. You know what? Um, put it like this. And you'll be watching it. You ever touch my kids, okay? I am going to take you, I'm going to duct tape you, okay? And then I'm going to go to work on you at first with electricity, okay? It's very painful, but it's not fatal, okay? And then there might be chemicals involved that are gonna burn you, but it won't be fatal. It'll be very painful, okay? And the entire time, you're gonna be crying to me, okay? Please, I promise. I'm gonna be like, mother, uh, homie, okay, please, hang on, dog, okay, please. You know what? Just a little bit longer, okay? You know what? I I don't want this to run out, nigga. And then we're gonna get that shit on fucking the video. And you know what? I'll post it, okay? And I'll go to prison. Uh, wait a minute, I'll go to jail, and I bet you I fucking walk, because I'll tell the jury, check this out. Check this out, let me out, okay? And what I'm gonna do is make a lot of money from this product that I call Pure H2O that makes it so I can sit on my ass and be lean and ripped up. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eliminate every motherfucker like him if they already haven't started going to hiding. Straight up. Dude, you, you're an embarrassing, punk ass, motherfucking, genetic bitch. What? 
Yeah, go ahead. Plan. I don't know. I can't place it. I don't know. I got them all paid. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. T tell me. Well, there's one here from your oldest son that uh, basically said that he's embarrassed of you and that he tries to avoid you in every occurrence. Okay. Are you proud of that? I mean, is that something you want your kid to think? Okay, and go on, continue. Pedophile, yeah, soon to be fucking, uh, living the rest of his agonizing motherfucking life in pain if you ever fucking come near me, bitch. Oh, dude, if you had stones, man, if you weren't this fucking punk coward that said he played it, I mean, did you really play at Villan Villanova? I certainly did all four years. Oh, dude, and you're proud of that? That's straight up, homie. Absolutely. To me, that's an embarrassment. Right now, that I walk onto Villanova's football field and there isn't a safety that can hang with me, I blow them all away deep. I, 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 I what? You're 50 years old. Homie, I'm 45 years old. You know what? I'm 45 years old, I'm going to be rich, I'm going to see that you're put in prison, and then what I'm going to do, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking hook up the families of everybody that's your neighbor, dog, or they're going to be hooked up. I'll tell you what, the guards, the guards down the road will say they've never seen, they, they're going to say they didn't see shit, okay, you know what I'm saying? But. There's, it's gonna be legend because it's gonna be like, oh my God, they've never seen a motherfucker go through so much torture, dog. Uh, straight up, when you're put, when you're putting the pen, dude, you're gonna be turned into a fucking gay hooker, okay? And you know what? I'm gonna say, you know what? Put your ass to work, nigga, okay? And it's gonna make everybody on a fucking cell block happy. Feel me? You know what? Torturing you, straight up. Or do you think that because you're gonna get put on the, you know what? You're gonna get put on the fucking embarrassing side, dickhead, okay? The only different place they've ever put me is in a cell by myself. Other than that, I've been on the main line, nigga, straight up, okay? Yeah, uh, oh yeah, 8 West, dog. 8, w eight West, dog. I'll tell you what, there's more guys on 8 West with intelligence and fucking brains and balls, not a punk like you, born to money. Your mom and dad, straight up. If it wasn't for society, your mom and dad should have been sterilized, I bet. I bet you you're an embarrassment. Seriously. Okay? Villanova football? Really? I mean, that's like girls lacrosse, isn't it? Howie Long? My degree, my degree is better than yours, Danny. You know what? Your degree ain't going to do shit for you. Pr I'll tell you what, man. Um, <laughs> oh, you better, you, be you better ask who the fuck I am, dog. Okay? Um, we're going to make movies about you. Straight up. Okay? Put you in my shoes, nigga. Put you in my shoes, nigga. You got four people behind you at Juanita's. What do you do? You know what? You fucking, you fucking turn around and you say, okay, which one of you is first? And you get on your knees, bitch. Straight up. That's what you do. Okay? I, on the other hand, attack and I fucking win. I fucking four of them, man. It wasn't really for... It was more like really like two and a half and shit, cause when four suddenly became three, fucking that Einstein equation and shit, they were like, Ugh. and so you can't really count them as men. And the fact that they were there in force, you know, uh, for me, that shows you how bad I am, nigga. They didn't send two people, they didn't send three people, they sent four, dog. Okay, and you know what? Still got them. Mark Brandon, Mark Brandon, Mark Brandon. If I can somehow get this motherfucker sent to your prison when they catch him, okay? Well, uh, <laughs> will you take care of him? I mean, like, make him comfortable, dog. Make sure that he's not fucking done, you know? I want this a long, drawn-out process, homie, and you're in the federal pen. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna be rich. Nigga, I'm gonna get you out. Watch. Straight up. You didn't kill anybody. And people that fucking weed, weed's medicine, dog. Uh, chemicals that kill, those aren't medicine. Those are poison. And doctors are like poisonous drug dealers and shit. What'd you say, punk? You know what, dude? I'll tell you what. Um, you have absolutely no stones. To me, seriously. To me, homie, you dismissed, dog. Straight up, okay? <laughs> Put it like this. Villanova football, you know what that is? That's an excuse for fucking like, boys to have fun, straight up, okay? 
you ain't going anywhere, <laughs> Howie Long. <laughs> Put it like this, Howie. Don't like it? Put it like this. You would like me, dog. Everybody pretty much does. They're like, God, he's saying some crazy ass shit, man. But, fact, I could cover anybody on your team, homie. Straight up, fact. I mean, I'm jet fast, dog. And when I'm spun on Stevie and Weed, John something. And the, I mean, you're cool, fucker. John, I'll think of it in a second. Um, will I? I'm stoned, man. And you know what? I can pass a sobriety fucking check. No problem. Reward for the safe capture and conviction. Okay, you know, the fact that you said you're going to ass rape them and that, you know, you're becoming their friends. Good, man. That's a good fucking thing to say in this Jerry Sandusky thing, dog. Okay, you know what? I bet you, homeboy, put it like this. You're dismissed. Okay, you know what? Put it like this. You're dismissed, bitch. You're cut. You're cut from the team. We don't want you no more. You're no good. Your genetic defect, seriously, nigga, okay? A a as a fucking football player, you're an embarrassment. You made it at Villanova, dog? Whoopee! You know what I'm saying? I can, okay, I can beat any, okay, there's not one Villanova athlete now that when I'm spinning on Stevie and Weed, if I'm faster than I was at Notre Dame, that can touch me, okay? I dust you all. I I leave you in the dust, straight up. And I can cover every one of you, <laughs> unless you recruited like this, movie from Hollywood, okay, uh, uh, a speedster, I cover every one of you guys, shut you the fuck down and embarrass you. Peace out. And you know what? You're going to prison and I'm going to do as much as I can to make your life miserable, dog, for as long as, it, I mean, as long as excruciatingly fucking painful as possible, nigga.